Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Walbert, your podcast performance coach with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is how to effectively niche down your podcast. Last week, I shared a case study about a podcaster who gave up his generic business podcast to start a new show specifically targeting heavy-duty equipment mechanics. Talk about a niche. We also went over the benefits of why niching your podcast is so important. So with that, here are two different ways you can niche down your podcast. The first way is by topic. Take, for example, a podcast about cars. Let's niche this down. Instead of just talking about cars, how about American cars? How about just Ford vehicles? Sorry to the Chevy and Dodge fans. It's just an example. There's no need to get upset. Okay, how about Ford trucks? How about the F-Series of Ford trucks? Ford sells about 900,000 F-Series trucks a year, so you know there's an audience there. Maybe it's just the F-150 if you really, really, really want to get specific. Now, do you think a podcast dedicated specifically to Ford trucks would mean more to a passionate Ford truck owner than a generic car podcast that only gets around to a Ford model once or twice a year, let alone the F-Series? Maybe you have a cooking podcast. Try niching that down. Maybe just baking. Maybe you're niching to just pastry. What about gluten-free pastry? There could be a big audience there, not only for people who are gluten-free who enjoy pastries, but a grandma who has gluten-free family members she loves to bake for. Or there's a restaurant or chef who's looking to have more options for their gluten-free customers. Niching down your topic is like opening one of those Russian dolls. As the dolls get smaller, the passion for your subject gets bigger, meaning a more loyal and engaged following for your show. The other way to niche down your podcast is by your target audience or avatar. Who are you talking to? You can niche based on gender. You can niche based on ethnicity. You can niche based on age. You can niche based on religion. Basically, it's through your demographics or psychographics. Women. How about moms? How about moms with boys? How about moms with two boys or more? I want to bring someone in now that you might recognize who can help figure out if you need to niche. If you say your podcast is for everyone, you may need to niche. If you say your podcast is for music fans, you may need to niche. If your podcast is for pet owners, sports lovers, or entrepreneurs, you may need to niche. If you go into Apple Podcasts and all their categories are too specific for your show, you definitely need to niche. (laughs) What do you know? Celebrity appearance on uh, Just the Tip. That was... Thank you to Jeff Foxworthy. You know, when it comes to niching, you may only need to go a level or two more to reach that more engaged audience. So how far is too far to niche your podcast? Okay, well, when you think about that perfect niche of yours, put it to the test. Whether you've niched down by your topic or your avatar, can you come up with 50, that's five zero episode ideas? Do your research too. Start testing your titles in Google for SEO. What's showing up? Is someone else doing this? How crowded is this space? If there is a lot of competition, can you get more specific than them? Can you niche one step further? Realize the power of niching. If you niche smartly, you'll end up with a more engaged, passionate, and loyal audience than if you stay generic. And I hope that's just the tip you need. If you haven't started your podcast yet and you want to start an effective show targeting the right niche, allow me. Book your free 15-minute coaching call and let's chat. Book your free 15 at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Walbert. See ya!